my name is Cherie, and I was at Mary Hurst in the 1980s. When I arrived, I was a very broken girl. I was angry at the world for the life I had been dealt. My parents divorced when I was around five years old. My mother remarried when I was eight years old. Shortly after, my maternal grandmother who lived with us and helped raise me passed away. My mom never knew, but her husband, my stepfather, sexually abused me. And when I was 11 years old, my mother died of a brain aneurysm. I endured years of sexual abuse at the hands of my stepfather, and many times I wasn't sure that I wanted to continue living. Being at Mary Hurst was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Of course, as a teenager, I didn't recognize it. Because of the abuse I suffered, I thought all relationships with men were supposed to be sexual until I met Mr. K at Mary Hurst. I like to think of him as a gentle giant. He was well over six feet tall with huge muscles, but he had the kindest spirit. When I tried to dress inappropriately, he'd send me back to my room. I couldn't come out until I had changed. When I spoke demeaning things about myself or others, he insisted that I not speak until I could do so in a positive and respectful manner. I quickly learned that sexual misconduct was not going to work with him. He taught me about boundaries and respecting others' personal space. I was full of rage and constantly acting out. I gave up on myself so many times, but staff didn't. They redirected me, encouraged me, and loved me. Those are important things to a teenage girl that felt like she had been abandoned by everyone that loved her. I'm here today because of Mary Hurst.